Hello, friends. How are you? Fine. Very good. We are coming to the end of our program. Just one more poem, and then we will have completed all the lessons. You have done all the lessons for class 12. Class 11 already finished. I think that your units may be making use of those lessons. Now, this is class 12, and uh, we continue with our a roadside stand. As usual, we will start with our in the last class. I gave you introduction, so I told you it's a satire, and I gave you reasons for that. The text, the text speaks. Then you can see that the text tells us that this is a satire. Means, means uh, satire means uh, we have seen uh, making fun of the a gentle fooling that is different thing, but this is a bit serious. The sense that the focus is on the callous, C A L L O U S, stone, callous, my stony attitude. No, no, no sensitivity, no sensitivity, sensitivity, no sympathy, no empathy. See that all these poor people, but they are very arrogant, the city people. So that is, he wants to highlight this, the poet wants to highlight this because he, as we have seen, he is the poet of the rural people and the rural life. Now today you will see the words difficult with are there, are there any difficult words for some of these traffic spend. Traffic means, you know, the cars or the buses moving, uh, going to one place and coming back. That is traffic means. Spend means, Going in very, very high speed, traffic speed. Means the cars you know, passing by, the vehicles passing by, they were going uh, at very high speed. Second one, flood, the flood means pleading, requesting, flood, pleading, request. Same. Highways, you can see the traffic, any, any watch. Stand by the side of a high, highway, you can see the, tra the traffic spread. That is, of course, this poetic expression. You have to say the traffic is going at a very high speed. Plead means uh, this plead, plead, you know, plead. That is to beg. So you can see beggars begging or pleading for arms. Door of bread. Means uh, they are not here. Doll of bread. Doll means a piece of bread, baby. A piece of bread that you get by begging is doll. Doll of bread. A donation, so to say. These farmers, they are not. They have not built their roadside stand for doll of bread. That means not for begging pieces of bread, that is food. Then you have the flowers of cities. Flowers of cities means the luxury of cities. Luxuries of cities, including wealth, health, then big, uh, huge buildings, gardens, theatres, all those things. So flowers of cities. Singing and withering fame. Singing means going down, but you know, the, uh, singing, withering away, means becoming dry, faint. You are fainted. A person is fainted means he he becomes unconscious. Now that's the poetic. The poet is using those three words to tell us that uh, singing and withering faint. If no money, what will happen? The city will faint, the city will sink, the city will wither. So, city people, they have plenty of money. Then, uh, polished traffic. Polished traffic here means the cars, the luxury vehicles. Polished. Polished men or polished women. They are traveling by polished car. Very costly, it's a BMW. Or you can say, what is the other costly uh, cars that you, oh, you know? 
This is BMW is one, then uh, Jaguar or something like that. Yeah. Or you have got another one, famous German Mercedes, Benz, Benz, like that. So they are uh, going at a very high speed along the along the highway without minding the speed. That's what the conduction is. Mind ahead, they only think of their destination rather than their proud people. Their mind is ahead, means thinking only of the uh, their destination, not looking sideways for this. They don't look. They, are, they don't take any interest in this poor being. Out of sorts, irritation, of course, an irritation. So you are watching a, watching a good movie. Somebody calls you. Then that, that, that you go out of sorts. That means you are irritated. You, know, some, you express your dislike. Disturbance. Then uh, traffic mar. Mar means to mar something. You can, you can make or mar yourself. It means you can make or destroy yourself. Make or mar. It's a phrase sometimes used. So traffic mar, here it means destroy or disturb. That is, like, traffic cannot be destroyed here, disturb. Traffic is disturbed. So when you are uh, going at a very high speed, your destination, suppose uh, from opposite side a procession comes, then tra your traffic is mad. That is, then in that sense it is disturbed. Wooden quart. Quart actually the word meaning of quart is a unit of measurement. Quart, one fourth. And here the poet has used this as box. Boxes. So wooden boxes. What? What means actually, you know, a small growth on the skin. It is small growth. Uh, like pepper. You have seen dry pepper, like that. With that shape. But here it means maybe some dried fruits, not worse. You don't sell this growth on, on your skin to others. So some some fruits that looks maybe like that shape of that. It is a watch here. And yes, a pitiful kin. Kin means relations, kin. Kindred, kin. So that is a Relatives, pitiful men, the farmers, they are very poor. They are to be pitied. All those people, they are going to be relocated. As a context when you see the uh, poem, you see that. Swamo. Swamo means uh, climb on something in large numbers. That is swamo means. You can see now, bees, bees swam over flowers. They come and large numbers. They swarm over this. So these are the words I think that now is clear. Now we will go through the main ideas also. See. Lines. Today we will see 31 lines. Very simple. First, and we begin with the uh, in the film traffic. Why didn't the, the poet use the? That would be a particular word extent. Here, I mean, there are many. So he is describing. Only one. When is an I saw a tiger. Then there are many tigers in the forest. I saw a tiger. There is a boy standing under the mango tree. There are many other boys standing somewhere. But they are mind so a uh, here means it implies that there are many roadside stands like that. That is very good. Then a roadside, a roadside stand meaning a shack, a temporary extension of a building, temporary essence. So that is maybe by making, maybe with the help of uh, the roof, maybe canvas. So that is a temporary extension. Then a temporary shed, you can say, a temporary shed or a shack. Lines one to three at the edge of the road where the traffic was in great speed. So that is, where is this shack? The, the place where the shack is, shack can be seen or shack is built. It is at the edge of the road where the traffic was in great speed. That means a highway. 
should be highway, not a country road or a village road, but it must be a highway where rich people from cities they travel by luxury cars and that also at a high speed. This poor people they have built their shell. And four to six doing decent business and then one to three uh, traffic was in great speed not for begging but for doing decent business and getting profit. So they have built this temporary shell not for begging. Door of you know, here, here, you know, door of bread, not for begging. They want, they want to do business. They want to uh, erect a shop, a temporary shop maybe. So they are erecting a shop for what? To attract the city people who are passing by. So do decent business. They have got self-respect. That's the thing. Then uh, you have got the uh, line 7 to 10, the luxury cars of the city men rushed past without taking any no any notice of the shed. If they stop, they found fault with the with them. So the shed is there and there are some produce, farm produce. But the people are passing away. That is at at a very high speed. In case something happens and if they stop, they will do this disturbance. What these people are doing? See the sign board there, there is no heart in it. The N is written like this, the S is written like that. So they were complaining. It's for complaining that they stopped. Uh, found for written. Lines 11 13. The farmer offered for sale wild berries, golden squash, and paintings. So, what were the produce? Wild berries, strawberries, uh, mayberries, gooseberries, <laughs> like that. So, then you have got another. Then another is. Yellow squash offered for sale, golden squash or yellow squash. Yellow squash, see, for instance, if you make a squash from Musambi, it will be yellow squash. Or papaya, a kind of papaya, or pumpkin, that will be yellow squash. The yellow squash, that's why it's a golden squash. And then you have got the paintings. Paintings may be they themselves, the poor country people, they might have made paintings of rural scenes. So these are the things they are offering for sale. And you have lines 14, 17. The farmer is pained by the indifference of the city people. So the farmer had hopes, very high hopes, that the city people, they are plenty, they have plenty of money, they are very rich and they will be attracted by these things. So these days, you know, people are more attracted by produce from farm products of villages. Why? Why are they attracted? Because they think that this, uh, they have you, they have produced this thing organically. So these poor people also thought like that. They, they might have used the natural fertilizer, not chemicals. So they might have produced. So people will stop and buy the thought. But they are trust the the trusting sorrow of what is answered. So much as the trusting sorrow of what is answered. That is a tragedy here. Trusting. So they they trusted these people, thinking that they will be very happy to come and buy these things. But that did not happen and that pains them. City people, the farmer is paying. The farmer is trying to earn some extra money to want to earn some extra money to expand themselves. So why did they do this? This is a side business. Their main business is farming. But they want to do some business, some extra money. For example, some people you can see they take tuition for extra money. Understand? Or they go for as visiting or say somewhere. It's for extra money. In this case, or they uh, publish books, teachers, they publish books as well as some extra money. Understand? Or 
become a consultant. Consultant in the English grammar. You get some extra money. Thank you. And uh, expand, as by that they can expand themselves. Expand means what? They can grow. Flourish. Yes. Suppose by farming you get only 50 dollars. Plus this would be say 25 dollars more than you be 75. Understand that? Total income. Or you get livestock against you know, people. See? They look after life, livestock. Say sheep, goat, cow, as for extra money. The farmers want to earn extra money, spend them. The do goodies and the beneficent beasts of a plan to shift them. Here is, this is the attack on this field. The, they don't have a, a, these people don't help them. But you see, the, so the so-called do goodies, that is sarcastic. That is sarcastic. He's angry. The poet is angry. So the farmers said, uh, they are do goodies. They pretend to be doing good. But actually they are doing harm. Why? They, because they are beasts of prey. They appear, they appear to be good. Benevolent people, nice people, gentle people. But actually they want to relocate them so that they can erect huge buildings here and they will be in the town all the time sleeping because they have nothing to do, they have lost their farm. So their life style will change. They will become sick, they will become patients, diabetics, then uh, pressure and uh, all kinds of other things. So this is what it is. In a, in a way, what, what first is trying to tell us is that Instead of helping these farmers, the city people, they are, going, they are doing harm to them. For one thing, they are paying because their trust has been betrayed. And secondly, now they are going to be relocated. Now I will read, I will uh, recite those lines, 1 to 31. Now I think that by now, if you are, if you carefully attend, if you have got a textbook and if you carefully attend, you can easily make out the meaning. And the questions also, question answers also. The little old house was out with the little new stands. In front at the edge of the road where the traffic spread. A roadside stand that too pathetically plugs. Pathetically means plug means they are pleading pathetically. It's very gently and also when you listen to them you feel pity. These people, when you look at them, they are shed. The things that they are going to sell, you look, you feel pity for them. So the first three lines tell you. Where did, where did the farmer, here is speaking about a farmer, but in between you can see my and then we. Stand, he speaks for other farmers also. Now this farmer, where did he build his or erect his roadside stand? In front of his little old house. By the roadside highway. And the roadside stand looks pathetic. Yes. So question number one, where did he erect or build? This so as a, as a, in front of the old house by the side of the highway. Simple. Then four to six. It would not be fair to say for a door of bread. But for some of the money, the cash whose flow supports the flowers of cities from singing and withering faith. So what is the function of city money? You can say. To prevent the flowers of cities, that is luxury life of the cities from singing and withering away. Understand? 
So that's the reason why they were the function of the city mind. Why did these people erect this Lord says down? It's not for a dollar of bread, not for begging bread, but to get city money. From the city delivers. The city city delivers, high they use the highway and they go at a very high speed. So the poor people they thought that if we sell our products without middlemen, we can have our own shop and we get some money. And uh, with that we can like the city flowers, village flowers also can grow and flourish. They thought like that. So the line seven to ten. The polished traffic passed with a mile ahead. Or if ever aside a moment, then out of sorts, at having the landscape marred with artless paint or signs that with N turn and S turn wrong. So that is the this those land, those four lines will tell you what is the attitude of the city dwellers. The trust has been betrayed. What is the attitude of the uh, city dwellers? Polished traffic. BMW Mercedes Benz. See that? They are speeding mind ahead. Straight. They don't look sideways. Things. They look like. They don't care. Hey, what is this? Is it a shed? Is it a house? A thing you like. Ahead. Or if ever a side. A moment. Suppose they look aside, just a moment. They don't stop there. As they are going, oh, immediately what happens then? Out of source. They think in irritation. Or it is a disturbance. What? The signboards there at having the landscape marred, destroyed with the artless pain. Artless pain means what? Artless symbol. I mean, maybe they might have taken a chalk also and written there. That's the atlas. And then, while writing N or S, must, must not have been as the artist would write. A common man when he writes like this. As he says, I have written it. This is, this is not an artist. Maybe difficult for him to read, he will come right. The N is like that, the D, the D cannot be seen. Like that. But I am not an artist. So you will forgive me. Understand that? Yeah. So they are they will think, when they will say that, what God is? Why N is run like? Why S is run like? Well, it's all, the whole thing marks the beauty, displays the beauty of the landscape. Yes. So for, for them this, they feel out of sorts, rotated. So that is the attitude of the uh, the City to this. Then 11 to 13, you will find what these people offer. Offered for sale wild berries in wooden quads, wooden boxes, or crook neck golden squash, yellow squash, crook neck with silver warts. Uh, that warp means you know, small fruit looks. The color is like that of silver. That means bright, bright white. Isn't it? So crook neck the golden spot. Crook neck means some fruit which is the neck of which is very narrow. So there is crook neck the golden so yellow squash. And you know, pumpkin, there are several types of pumpkin from which you can take make squash. Then our beauty, our beauty rests in the beautiful mountain sea. So they, are, they sell wooden berry, what I sorry, they sell wild berries, they sell golden squash, they, they sell uh, silver warts, they sell good paintings. Poor me. Then 16 to 13, you will find, you have money. That is a farmer, that is his, he may be thinking. So, you have money, 
But if you want to be mean, why keep your money thus closely and go alone? You have money, you mean the city dollars. He is addressing them. You have plenty of money. But if you are mean, mean means of low level. A person who is of low level is it. What a mean behavior is this? Suppose in the class you sit and, you know, and while sitting, while the class is going on, you eat egg curry and chapati in the class. That is considered to be indecent and mean. Or vegetable curry, or whatever. So mean behavior, indecent. So the farmer thinks, you have money. But if you want to be mean, means of a low standard person, not gentle, then you can keep your money and go along. The hardest scenery would be my complaints. The hard to scenery would be my complaint, so much as the trusting sorrow of what is answered. Trusting sorrow of what is answered. So the poor people, they are trusted in these people, thinking that they will cooperate with them. The heart to the scenery would, wouldn't be my complaint. So you are complaining that I, we have heard the scenery, mark the landscape, beauty of landscape. That's nothing. What is it after all? But we, we are sorry not for that, but we are sorry for the trusting sorrow of what is answered. But this answer means you don't even do, you don't even uh, take any interest in us. You don't come here and you stop your vehicle and you buy something from us. We came here trusting that you will be helping us in this way. Not charity, we don't want doll, we don't want charity. We don't want bad things. You buy things from us without the middleman so that we will get some profit and that is, that is the trust that you have. We, we have misunderstood, you have betrayed. Line, lines 18 to 22 says, Here from the city we make our roadside stand and ask for some city money to feel in hand. Now we are, why, what is the purpose of this? The ultimate aim of this road and is feel some city money in the hand. To <laughs> try, it will not make our being expand. So we want to grow and flourish with that money. We want to build a new house. We want to buy five cows. We want to buy a herd of sheep. So like that. Or we want to start a poultry farm with this money. Expand ourselves. And give us our being expands, our life, being is life. And give us the life of and give us the life of the moving pictures promise. I see Hollywood pictures, cinema, <coughs> films. You can see how what luxurious life they are living. Smuggling in Le Vegas. <laughs> Isn't it? They're living in uh, five star hotels. So we also want to, like that. We want to at least a few days collect some money, save some money, go to the, go to the city, <coughs> live in a five star hotel at least for a few days. You are doing it every day. The pictures promise that the party in power is said to be keeping from. But the political party now ruling, they don't care. They are indifferent. They are not concerned. So what is the way out? To collect some money. This is only way out. We are not engineers or doctors or professionals like that. We are just farmers. We want to expand ourselves. We want to live at least for a few days like the stars that we see in the movies, Hollywood movies. American background, so Hollywood movies. But then what happened? And then there is no scope of any help from getting any help from 
the political party. They only promise. And actually, what are these political parties going to do now? That is 23 to 31 says, it is in the news that all this pitiful king, it is said that all of us, the relatives and so on, are to be brought out and mercifully gathered in. Sarcasm, satire, very strong, mercifully. They are asking these people to go and they say it is out of sympathy for you. We are asking you to move from here to a place near by the theatre or a mall. Because out of sympathy for you. Why are you working 24 hours and also an extra work on the road so stands? Not necessary. We will help you. We are very merciful to us. And that is an irony of the first order. What they say, what they mean, there is a huge gap. Yes. A student fails for the time, the exam. And he comes home and the father says, patting on his shoulders, you are so rash, you have done very well. So there is irony. What the father mean, means, and what the father says, there is a gap. Or opposite, you can say. Mercifully gather in to live in village, next to the theater and the store. Move from here, go to another village, and that village, this is far away from the city, near to the city, next to the theater, so you can see, isn't it? You can see films every day. And the store, and the store, multi, there is multi, Store in stores, malls, and so on. You can, so you can go and easily go and buy things. You need not drive. You can save that money driving from here to the city. But actually, what they want is to remove them from here and relocate. Where they won't have to think for themselves anymore. If you go there, now here, if you are staying, you have to think for yourself about the rain, about the weather, about maneuvering, about getting laborers and so on. There's no such thing. It's a paradise. No thinking is required. <laughs> See that? To live in a weather, why greedy good doers, beneficent beasts of pride, underline, double underline. They are the city builders. They are the civic authorities. They are the government people. They are, they, stay, they appear, they pretend hypocrites. They pretend to be good doers. Beneficent people. We are doing some good for, good to you. But at the same time, the poet uses another word in between. Beast. Beast. Animal. Cool animal. We are so prey, we are their victims. Swarm over their lives, enforcing benefits. Swarm. Gather around them in large numbers. Enforcing. That means they are forcefully thrusting upon them benefits. The poor farmers who say, we will stay here, we can have a road system. We will we are used to this, we are familiar with this place, but that place is unfamiliar, we cannot go. Ah, it's really good, you know. You need not walk, everything will be there anytime. You just extend your hand, you will get whatever you want. When you want to go to see, you want to go to a theater, you can go from morning show, then you have seen noon show, first show, matinee, first show, second show. <laughs> see that? So enforcing benefits. Then, that are calculated to soothe them out of their wits, silence them, out of their wits, which means their ability to think. See, if they go there, there is no need of thinking, he has already said, no need of thinking. And they are teaching them how to sleep all day. 
in a farm farming situation in the village you there's very little time for sleeping throughout the day you have to work then the evening you have to do some other work isn't it but in this case there is no work you can sleep then destroy their sleeping at night the ancient way ancient way the traditional way is the traditional style of life is sleep at night one during day but when you we are you you go there so no you are hard working see the sun has tanned your skin you will look very handsome and beautiful if you go there because you need not go out you there's no need to walk all lectures should be available provided you have money but we have no money so that is it's a very sad situation Robert Frost says it's a very sad situation. They are trying to they are struggling to expand themselves. But then what what is the attitude of these people? They are callous. They are they are not feeling, no sympathy, no empathy. See, they don't want to help them. They find fault with them. They say your ass is like that, your ass is like this. Your pain, the word pain is. This. You have marred the landscape, beauty of the landscape. You are a disturbance out of sorts. Get out of this place. Please. Then the poor farmer says, "All what we want is to sell these things and expand ourselves." We are sorry, heart of heart. We are pained, the trusting sorrow of body sunset. We are simple people, village people. We don't know. in the any artificial behavior we don't know how to pretend we don't know how to become hypocrites but now what you do is that you don't even care for us in this way what are you doing you are going to remove us from here relocate to some other place new some other land you can you will get it say at a very cheap rate so this is village for me and you can develop a city here And then you can sell it again, and then that is what will happen. You will get it. You will become multi-millionaires. That is your plan, and we know. But we are poor people. That's what it says. Thirty one, nine thirty one. So question number one is, where is this road sale stand? The road sale stand is, uh, is a. This is an extension of the old house, and that is a little new stand. It is at the edge of the road, where traffic goes at a very high speed, high speed, high high speed. Then next question will be, why did they do it? Not for begging or for a lot of bread, but for getting a uh, city money. City money, just as the city money supports the flowers of cities from sinking and withering away, we want that uh, we also would like to become. Uh, we we also want to flourish like the city people. So, what is the attitude of the next question? What is the attitude of the city people? They are very arrogant. They think that. Uh, The road side stand is a, something that is out of sorts. It's a disturbance, a irritation. The the road side stand has dist destroyed or marred uh, the beauty of the landscape by their artless paint. And the signs, uh, signs, uh, uh, what is the latest written you know, on the sign boards? Are not properly written. N is turned and S is turned wrong. That is the attitude. What are their produce? What are the what are the farmers offering to sell? They sell wild berries in wooden boxes, yellow squash and silver ones, and also beautiful mountain scenes. What is the complaint of the farmer? The farmer says that you have the money, 
but you are really mean. You are keeping the money with you. And you are going around without minding us. Uh, you, it's, it's not, it's not, uh, we, are, we are not concerned about the, as you say, we haven't disturbed the beauty of this land, for landscape. But we are pain because you have betrayed our trusting, trusting. So the trusting sorrow, what is answer? If we thought that you would do this, we trusted in your magnanimity, your, your uh, uh, love for the brother, neighbors, simple people like us. But you don't even say a word, answer. Therefore we are very sorry. Now why did we make this stance? Why did the farmer make, make this stand, process stand? This is your feeling in uh, city money. Enjoy life as is seen in Hollywood movies and also uh, uh, we are making this, we are putting our efforts because the civic authorities and the party in power, they, they are indifferent towards us. Then, what is pitiful? as well as the farmers are concerned. It's very pitiful and sad and tragic that we are being relocated. They are asking us, they come in large numbers, swarm over, and tell us all kinds of, they give us all kinds of false promises, saying that you can move, if you move from here to a village which is very near to theater and mall, you can go and see films anytime, you can buy things anytime you want, but there are no money that is bragged. And you need not think you can sleep during day and night, bragged, and thus become sick. And this pains, they are hypocrites, they are do goodies. They pretend to be do goodies, and actually they are beneficent. Beasts of prey, we. They are, they, we are their victims and they are the beneficent beasts. Therefore, the poet says, Kangaroos, at, at line 31, he says, it is very tragic that they are going to lose their traditional lifestyle. lifestyle they are all going to become sick in six months time. It actually looks like a short story. If you look at that. If you want to convert this into a short story, you can do it like this. There was, uh, there was a farmer. He had a, an old house. He wanted to expand himself. So he built, he extended his little old house with a little new stand or say it was built on the uh, edge of the road, highway, edge of the highway, where there was traffic going at high speed. They did not want to, they did not erect this for begging a dollar of bread, but they wanted city money. Uh, just as the city money supports the progress of cities, these people, they also want that city money should support the village people also. But the village people, they are, sorry, the city people, they had a very uh, wrong attitude towards them, inimical against them, hostile almost. And they were very arrogant. They thought that these things were out of sorts. They thought that they destroyed the beauty of the landscape. They also found fault with them for their artless paint. The artless way the signboards are put up with the N and the S, letters N and S, turned this way and that way. And then they offered, this poor farmer offered berries, wild berries, in wooden boxes also, golden yellow squash and silver parts. And then 
also beautiful mountain paintings, paintings of mountain sea. The farmer feels sad because his task has been betrayed by these people. They have money, but they are very mean, and therefore they don't buy anything. They take their money with them to the cities and enjoy. And they said, the motive behind erecting this, uh, this stand was to get some city money and enjoy their life. Like you know, they have a dream. This farmers they have a dream, and that is to live like the stars in a movie. Okay, and then uh, experience and enjoy life. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So then uh, they said that. Now there is one more problem. And that problem is that uh, these people, they are trying to relocate. Relocate them. And with false promises, they are uh, persuading them to leave their traditional homes and huts, go and live in the village near to the city, where you have got plenty of malls and plenty of theaters. He says, you need not think, you can just sleep during the day and also night. So it is like a story, isn't it? It's very simple. Hope that you have enjoyed my explanation and your question answers also. You can, you yourself can uh, uh, generate questions from this and then you can answer. Alright. Shall I recite this once more, the whole thing? Yes. The little old house was out with a little new stand in front of the edge of the road who, where the traffic spread. A roadside stand that too pathetically planned. It would not be fair to say for a dollar of bread, but for some of the money, the cash whose flow supports the flower of cities from singing and withering faint. The Polish traffic passed with a mind ahead. But if I were aside a moment, then out of source, at having the landscape marked with the artless paint of signs that with N turn and S turn from. Offered for sale wild berries and wooden quarts or crack necks and our cook necked golden squash with the silver warts or beauty rest in a beautiful mountain sea. You have the money, but if you want to be mean, why keep your money this cross you can go along? The hurt to the scenery wouldn't be my complaint so much as the trusting sorrow of what is uncertain. Here far from the city we make your roadside stand and ask for some city money to feel in hand to try if it will not make our being expand and give and give us the life of the moving pictures promise that the party in power is said to be keeping from us. It is in the news that all these pitiful kin are to be brought out and mercifully gathered in to live in village next to the theatre and, and the store where they won't be, they won't have to think for themselves anymore. Why greedy good doers, beneficial beasts of prey, swarm over their lives, enforcing benefits that are calculated to soothe them out of their bits and by teaching them how to sleep all day, destroy their sleeping at night the ancient way. Okay? Bye. We'll continue tomorrow. Till then, bye. Keep smiling. Enjoy.